Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and today we're continuing on with our The Joy of Painting Minis, uh, painting a winged vampire um, lord from Vampire Count and Warhammer Fantasy. And last week we didn't do much, we painted chainmail on the, um, on the, on his armor pieces here, and we painted up this sword arm, gave his, um, hand a wash color and all that jazz and then we gave everything a um we gave everything on this guy a, a black wash and then we glued him to his base and so we're going to continue on from here using the falling paints that you see on your screen and let us dive right in here so and just don't mind my phone it's just people trying to get in touch with me so what i'm going to do now is i am going to hmm Let's see, think about this real quick. I'm going to work on his wings, because I think I'm going to do something really simple, and that's just going to be finishing up what I started here, which is just doing a um, wash over this white that we have here, because it's going to give a nice look, and these washes um, that GW makes actually do very good um, coats that give a really nice painted look. So we're going to... Just do this real quick, gonna flip, and just go over the whole thing. With the wash. And the only thing you gotta be careful with is, is, is um, is even coats, because if the coats aren't even, then well, you get these weird funky spots, which I'm going to be completely fine with, mainly because he is an old looking nasty vampire, so he's not going to, I'm going to want him to have this like unhealthy look to him. And just make sure to put, dab a little bit extra where I see holes in the wings, in the membrane, that way I know that they get covered. Okay. Alrighty, and like I said, what's great about this is I can just go from here and leave it once this is done. Don't have to um, add anything, don't have to do anything fancy. It's just, it's all done. It, and the way this was done was, is, um, as you see, it was just painted white. I'm using the base coat that was done originally to um, prime the uh, model. Um, some... One thing you might want to do, like, suggestion if you want to get a little bit more of a nicer white background, um, base is to, you know, coat it in, like, just a white paint, but don't mind my phone, but I think this works just as well, and as you can see, it's simple, and it gets the job done in very little in such in a very quick time with next to no effort and then we play with the edges a little Okay. 
So yeah, that's one thing is, is this is where how I said before, oh, it didn't matter that the um, wing was getting messy, I'm going to repaint over it. Well, apparently it did matter because apparently I wasn't going to paint over it. But that was the thing, I was looking at it. And sometimes you'd be surprised where inspiration comes for how painting, um, for how you're going to approach a project like this. Like, for example, just this one. While I was gluing him to his stand, that's when I saw, or I think it was when I was gluing his stand, but while I was working on him in the last episode, I was looking at how the, um, how the wings were looking with the, the shade on them, and I said, and I thought to myself that that looked, that came out very nice, and would make a really nice looking bat membrane for his wings, and that's where I got the idea to just go with shading them, instead of going through some crazy process, having to deal with, um, deal with, um, highlighting and shading and darkening and picking out a membrane that color that didn't look weird, and this right here pretty much solved all my issues, all my problems that I was having. Get this nice membrane coat here with very little effort. And like I said, don't have to deal with shading or highlighting. Um, depending on what you're painting and what shade color you're using, you may want to um, consider a highlight afterwards, but this is like a fleshy membrane, so I'm not going to bother, excuse me, with that. But like I said, this is one, this is like, as you can see here, just a very simple, easy technique that gets a very, that gets a very nice result with next to no effort on your part. Okay, now the only other thing I'm going to do here is, is clear up this stuff. That's one thing you do have to be careful about is pooling, because if it pools, well then you get these funky sh sh lines, and then it just doesn't look as nice. Okay, and there we go. Now we've got the membrane all nice and painted up, or however you say that word. I always say membrane. So I'm going to stick with it for now. And there we go. Oops, as I planted it against my hand, and thankfully it was dry enough where it didn't come off. So now, next up that we're going to work on here... I think is going to be his cloak. And for his cloak, we're going to add a shade to that. That way, we can move. We can get that set up for his his layer on his cloak. And let's see. And then get my wash brush out for this one. Oops, sorry.
Okay. This. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, so I see a little spot here, going to later, once this is um, a little bit drier, go in and dab up that little corner of his wing that um, I missed. Now we're going to first take care of this. And from here, let us go to, uh, we are going to, I think, take care of the horns on his collar and on his shoulder pad there and all that other good stuff. So, let's see, gonna get me a gray color. See. Actually, I'll probably go with brown instead. So there we go. And we'll also take care of the gold at that point then, since that's what I'm gonna be using for the brown. I'm going to be using that on the brown for that as well. So we're going to paint all the areas that will eventually be gold and all the horns and such on his shoulder pad, and his little things by his neck and all that. So we're going to take our brown paint. And there's a thing also with this, the uh, best part about, um, reason, in okay, I painted the horns black, but I left the other pieces gold, um, white, I can actually, s there's already a significant difference between 
the brown that has a white base coat and the brown that has a black base coat. You know, that way when the shading and such goes goes on, they'll look significantly different from each other. which will be very good And then we're going to give the belt. A little brown coat here. up the skull and this little bag on his side here. Coming along just nicely here. Alrighty. Paint up this little piece of his talon. Sorry. Okay, boop, boop, and then the last bit here is this little claw. Okay, and now, with the little time we have left, we will paint up the sword, the parts that are going to be gold and all that on this thing. Okay, so I'm going to give them a nice gold handguard.
And the gold would probably be the worst thing to make a handguard out of. In fantasy, when we have magical elves and such, it's alright. Oops, I am sorry. Didn't realize that I was painting off camera. And so, as we start whittling down on time, use this brush to get in those any cracks in the blade and guard thingy and we'll be almost done here So, that is pretty much, except for this one little bit here around his hand, and done. So, there we are. So this will be it for now. Um, we'll continue on next week. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, fearless. Until next time, fearless gamers. Take care. Mm -hmm.